This is my most used lens. This is also my cheapest lens and my smallest lens and my lightest lens, but I absolutely love it. This here is my 50 millimeter 1.8 full frame Sony lens that I use on my Sony a7C as my EDC lens, if you like, my everyday carry lens, the lens that typically will go on my camera if I'm going out to shoot some photos and I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna sh shoot. It's just there so that I can have my camera and I can shoot at any given opportunity. I probably use it in situations where I'm going out with friends or family, not on a specific photo shoot, but on a day or an event where I'm likely to get some cool shots and I wanna have a camera with me. This is my go-to lens. Now, the 50 millimeter world is a little bit split. It's a bit of a love-hate, a bit of a Marmite situation, but I am truly in the lover's camp. It has been an absolute game changer of a lens for me, and it is so cheap. In the world of photography, as you'll know, it's not a cheap one, but this comes in at about 159 uh, GBP, which is an absolute bargain in my opinion, which it comes to about 209 US dollars. And for that, you're getting a full frame lens that has a lowest aperture of 1.8, which means you can get those super blurry backgrounds, really pick out the subject from the background, whether it's a person or an object. I like to shoot my everyday kind of things with it, my cups of coffee in the morning or a nice environmental portraits when I'm out. Quite useful for some street photography as well. Yes, it's not a super wide angle lens, but you can do a few things to just mitigate that by actually taking a step back. Or indeed, if you wanna shoot a little bit of landscape and you happen to only have this on your camera, you can shoot a few shots together to create a nice pano to get you out of a pinch. And personally, I found that to work pretty well if you can only choose to have one lens with you. As I said, it's really versatile for the types of shots that you can take, but it's so small and light and it's really, really discreet. And as I'm shooting with the a7C, which I've talked about before, it's a nice small camera and a nice small setup and paired with this lens, it is absolutely perfect for me to always have in my bag. Going back to last year, I decided to really commit to carrying my camera around with me a lot more. For me, you just can't beat a photo that comes off a good high quality full frame camera. And this lens for such a little price and a small weight to carry is absolutely perfect for this kind of thing. So if you want to get into the prime lens world and start shooting with those wider apertures, I think this is a really, really good option, especially to start with. There are a couple of downsides to this lens. Obviously it is pretty cheap, so there's going to be a few. It's not the best build quality. It's quite plasticky. It doesn't feel like a really, really high quality lens, but in all honesty, I'm super happy with what comes out of it, which at the end of the day is the most important part. I'm not a pixel peeper, so I'm sure there's tests and scientific details that have been run uh, on this lens, and I'm sure it doesn't come out as one of the highest qualities. However, as I said again, really, really happy with the results that I have got off it, and actually just the enjoyment of using such a small lens with such nice focal depth and get that depth of field. So, if you wanna go check it out, I just looked it up on Amazon. As I said, it's 159 pounds. Stick it on your camera, go and have some fun with it, shoot some things, shoot some people, get out and about, carry your camera more. It will inspire you to take more photos. And I hope you found this useful. Uh, if you do have any questions about the lens, drop them down below. Um, and you can go and check out some more of my photography on my Instagram, which is HY Images. And you can see probably me shooting loads and loads with this. I did go back and just have a little look on my Lightroom catalogue and you can actually separate your photos by the type of camera that you used or the lens that you used. And this was a hot favorite in 2021 and I think it will continue to be in 2022. Predominantly for my photography, when it comes to video, I do tend to use a little bit of a wider lens, but for photos, this is for me at the moment. Once again, I hope you found this useful and I will look forward to talking to you in the next video.